Hello, my name is Herbert Ray Dietrich, and I'd like to talk with you about my book, The Green Oak Boys. Growing up in southwest Louisiana, back in the 70s, way back in the woods, and not far from the Gulf of Mexico and from Texas, we were only a football field in distance from the Calcasieu River. And as a teenager, the river, along with our musical skills, were all there was to do during these times. So we wondered about the world outside of our little world. And as I can remember, things began to move and go our way finally when we learned that a dear old friend of ours, which just happened to be our pastor's wife, was near unto death. And that she called for my brother and I to visit with her before she had died. Now this was a hard thing to do, as I can recall. Yet we managed to stand at her bedside as she began to tell us how we should live life to the fullness and get all we could out of life before the Lord called us home. So the following day, we called for a meeting of the minds, which was a weekly meeting consisting of my brother, myself, and five other friends, which the folks around town referred to as the gang. We sat and picked a little, then decided it was of a necessity to go out and find what Aunt Aunt Deuce, as we called her, had told us to do. Looking back, I see her exaggerated or we exaggerate, shall I say, uh, in taking her advice, yet still to us at that time, it was serious business. So we packed up some clothes and our instruments, and we jumped the train the very next morning. Thus beginning the adventures of the Green Oak Boys, an exhilarating and adventurous ride through the southern states, picking and working for our food and meeting all kinds of people, some good and some bad. Here begins our lessons in life, which contain uh, some of life's greatest adventures, I'd say, along with life's hardest lessons also. It's everything a person could ever read about. As you begin to read the book, you'll discover the quality of the story's plot. As it grows from the very first chapter to the last, you will cry and you will laugh, along with each chapter as they all encounter all different things that life, I guess you could say, could throw at them. Each chapter has a different scenario, along with both shady characters and good characters alike, all equally mixed with different adventures. Friend, this is a, as good as it gets as you go out and read how the boys finally pick and sing their way to a record deal. I assure you this book will grab and capture the hearts of both the young and old alike as it offers to all a small column of scripture and moral advice at the end of each chapter, you will become fixed on the stories till the boys are finally filled with the fullness of truth. I tell you, friend, you'll find this book spiritual, exhilarating, a builder of character and of responsibility to both the young and the old alike, whether it be teenagers or adults. To write a book with this amount of character and strength, a person needs to be, oh, I'd say qualified. And I feel that life, along with the uh, anointing of God, has qualified me to do so. Myself, being uh, polished in church, you would call it, I learned uh, at an early age what truly qualifies a person to be called free. And what I mean by free is free from sin. As I grew, I was privileged to be uh, able to sit on a pew and hear the Word of God preached to its fullness. Getting older and not being of the norm, as a lot of people would say, and uh, some would admit to it. I became a hired songwriter. I worked with four different labels. I've recorded with a few of my own songs uh, myself. My style of storytelling has become polished over the years, and my knowledge of adventure has had its beginnings from an early age, thus giving me somewhat of an edge, I'd say, on my style and structure of writing, and not only a song, but of a storyteller also. Everyone needs a perfect balance to, to survive in this life of today, and the Green Oak Boys will teach it through the simplicity of life and the importance of truly knowing who God is and what He's truly all about. I'm happy to say that there will be many follow-up stories 
which give me the enjoyment of knowing many will reap the true and spiritual advice coming from someone who loves to help. I thank you, and this is Herbert Ray Petrie saying goodbye, and may God bless. But before we go, let me kind of hit you up on a little tune on this banjo. I'm going to give you a short little tune. things would have been. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you really go out and purchase this book for you're going to find it in yourself that it has a lot of things to offer to everybody. I'm not going to sing you a song right now, but there is a song inside the book and it's a song that I've written. Get the book, folks. Read it to your children. Read it by yourself. I'm sure that you'll find strength and satisfaction in it. Once again, this is Herbert Ray Peter saying goodbye, and I'll talk with you later.